Welcome back to The Lounge. How to change your life with your personal journal, part three. Hello everybody and welcome back to The Lounge. Glad to be here and today we are on day seven and uh, we're going to be doing six different messages today and I hope that you guys enjoy this. I hope that you can find value in every one of these messages. Okay, and I started mine, by the way. I did start my own personal journal, and I'll tell you what, just doing that first day, it really got me thinking. It changes your thinking pattern. It really does. It makes you start to think about other things that are more important, things that make you happy. So I really think you should try this and take your time. There's no rules to this. You write whatever you want. It's your puzzle. The nice thing about this, like I said before, no one else is involved. Just you. No one else. So let's get started. Day seven, by the way, is where we're going to be starting. It is such a powerful message. Um, What I've done because I use a screen reader. I am going to be letting the reader read the message to you, and I'm, I'm going to have it slowed down. It's going to be in a voice that I hope you can understand. It makes it easier for me, makes it easier for you, and I don't sound like, a, you know, a horrible reader. So let's get this potty started. All right, let's go, you guys. Here we go. Hope everybody's doing good today, and I hope that you've been able to listen to the first two parts to this personal journal and uh, hopefully it's doing you some good. Now, obviously you've only been through one day of writing um, and you got 30 more days of things to write about. It actually ended up being a pretty interesting journal if you go through all 31 days and then look at what you got, how much you've wrote. You know, there's no limit on how much you can write about. The whole goal, the whole idea is to write each day and kind of answer what we talk about in each day. So day one and day two is going to be something totally different. Day three and four, something totally different. Day five and six, something totally different. We are now going to be starting on day seven. This is part three to the personal journal series. And um, I think it, I think it's a good thing. I think it'll work. I mean, obviously when you do it, you got to be serious. And, you know, I can look at it. I can look at, you know, how many people's listened, um, how many people's messaged me. On, you know, how many people really take something like this, uh, you know, very serious or not. But this is something that really works. It's worked for other people. This isn't something that I came up with yesterday. Okay, I got this through some other lectures that I was reading about online and some other journal pages and stuff like that. So I do believe it'll work. I do believe it'll help you. I believe it'll help me. You know, I have things about me that I try to improve every day. And if I can actually dig in and really have these things laid out in front of me and allow me to really see it, it allows me to change things, to better my life, to better me. To give me better qualities. Better morals. So I think it's a good thing. And I hope that. I hope you agree. Because I think it will help you. If you're looking for that help. This doesn't mean that I put it out there. Because I think everybody needs help. I put it out there. In case you do want help. Or in case you do want to change. Or in case you don't understand why you're living the life that you're living. 
or why you're being the way that you're being. I really believe that out of these 31 different messages, I do believe you're going to find some that's going to give you some answers that you never thought about. So hopefully to help you. Now, what I've done this time, instead of me reading this to you and trying to read to you and listen to my reader at the same time, all right, so day seven. Ultimately, we come to self-reliance by forgetting ourselves. This is a type of self-trust that new parents might experience. Because they now care about something that's outside of them that matters much more than themselves. This one goes kind of deep, don't it? We can access this by caring about anything properly. Like a project, a movement, an idea, a person, and so on. So I want you to think about this one. It's very interesting how every one of these really point out specific things that we do in our life. So here's what you're going to ask yourself when you write in your journal for day seven. What do you care most about? As in, what do you give yourself to most freely? As in, how could you care about it? more perfectly how does caring about this thing outside yourself actually help you trust yourself more and this is one of those things that you're going to kind of have to think about you might even write something down look back at it and be like no that's that's not it that's not it so think about these as we go through them because i'm gonna tell you what some of them are tricky some of them are kind of uh, confusing a little because they, I mean, they go really deep here. You're talking about some stuff that really digs deep into the entire puzzle of your life. You know, everything that, everything that we do, everything, the way we respect other people, the way we respect ourselves, the way we look at things in our life that's supposed to be important and then they're not, but they should be but we don't make it. And I mean, it just goes on and on. 31 days of some very detailed features on how you can redesign your own puzzle for your own life. You're putting the puzzle back together. It's like you're taking the puzzle, you put it together and you look at it and this puzzle is your life, and everything is perfect in your eyes. You're happy, you know, everything. And now you go back through it, and you get all these things pointed out to you. It says, hey, wait a minute. What are you doing about this? So then you take the puzzle, you take it all apart, and you start restructuring it. This journal is honestly a way to restructure your life so that you are more satisfied, more content with yourself. And I know this goes way further out than what I've ever talked about. And some people's like, oh my gosh, this is boring as heck. But if you listen to it and you think about it and you do it, you'll see. You will see. Day number eight. We go too far, less trouble about making ourselves happy than about appearing to be so. These are the voices we hear in solitude, but they grow faint and inaudible as we enter into the world. Many times, we want what we want for no other reason than other people wanting it. 
Now, I don't know about you, but that is such a true statement. How many times have we done that? I've done it before. I'm sure you've done it before. That is so true. Listen to it one more time. Many times, we want what we want for no other reason than other people wanting it. Wow, that is, that's powerful right there. That is powerful. Take time today to ask what you want to want. Not what you want, but what you want. Now, this one goes kind of deep. So, let me give you a better example of exactly what it means here. The first example is from wanting attention to wanting to help. Another good example is from wanting an easy life to wanting a struggle. Another shift example of this is from wanting fame to wanting relationships. Now, all of these sets are mutually exclusive, but one usually comes at the cost of the other. If you could choose your desires, what would they be? That's the question that you got to ask yourself. This one is really good, guys. And when you think about it, it really does make sense. But you really got to focus on some of these. You got to really give your attention to it. Okay, because some of them I kind of looked at it at first like, what in the hell? But it makes sense. Day number nine. And after this one, you guys, you will need to continue to the next podcast for the next three. All right. Here we go. The true identities within ourselves is frequently hidden behind a wall of shame, fear, or embarrassment. Wow, that's, <laughs> dang on, that's, that's a good one. Let's think about that a minute. It says here, you should never fear yourself. You should never be scared to be yourself when you're around others. This is why most people run into problems in their life, whether it's to do with relationships or jobs, and etc. It's because when we get in front of these people, we act a different way instead of being the person that we really are. And then here's the question. How do you feel about the way you act when you're around others compared to the way you act when you are alone? What are you going to do today to make a difference? When you look at this and you change this identity about yourself, your life can change drastically for the better for you. I really like this one because it goes back to something that I've always talked about quite a bit and that's to be yourself and not care what others think not care what others think about what you wear or the music you like or whatever the case might be this is a good one so I think that you should focus on this one when you're writing in your journal on this one for day number nine this is a really good one and so far we've gotten through nine different days for your personal journal, for you to write stuff down. And this is a really good start. Once you get to the ninth day, you're going to have a really good idea of some of the things that you might be changing in your life. I know I will. The next three days is covered in the next podcast. So be sure to listen to the next podcast 
If it's not available, check back soon and it will be. And also be sure to give us your information as far as how you feel about each one of these days so far. What do you see in the days we've spoke about so far? Do you think it's something that could help you? Not everybody has to agree. And not everyone's going to have the same answers. But I'd really like to get an idea of how you guys feel about this. And what you think it can do for you. Honestly, I like it. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to continue to write my own personal journal to see what I can change, what I can recognize that I can do differently to make my life better. Sometimes we go through life so fast, we forget to look at things like that. Even the little things, the small things that can be most important. I appreciate you guys listening. I hope that you try this out. I hope that it helps you out. I love every one of you. Thank you guys for being here. Please be sure to give us a thumbs up. Tap on that subscribe button and join us here at The Lounge. We'll talk to you soon.